Chris Guthrie here with netbookreviews.com and I'm here to show you some differences between the Asus EPC 1008HA and the 1005HA. Let's go ahead and check them out. So here's another good angle of them side by side. Um, as you can tell the 1008HA does have the thinner sleeker profile but it is more expensive. Uh, it usually runs a little over $400 whereas the 1005 HA is about uh, 375 for the 6 cell battery option and about 330 ish for the 3 cell. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is they both have the exact same specs Intel Atom N280 processors 1.66 GHz 160 GB hard drives and 1 GB of RAM um, you pretty much know the drill same size webcam 1.3 megapixels um, really what it kind of comes down to is whether or not you want a netbook for portability or if you want one that will last uh, all day long in terms of your battery life so I know I personally own this model here the 1008 HA I bought it before the 1005 came out and uh, I'm still pleased with my purchase, but I am planning on doing a few trips coming up here. And, uh, you know, I am a little bit envious of the 1005 because of the much better battery life that it gets and the ability to remove the battery. You can't do that on the 1008. As you can tell here on the bottom, you just got a spot for the VGA extension but there's no way to access the battery so if there were ever any issues with the battery I guess you'd have to just send it back to Asus to fix whereas on the 1005 you can see here you can just take the battery out like that unlock it on both sides and then you can slide it out you also have a slot where you can uh, open up and install additional RAM as well so that's again something that's not on the 1008 HA Overall, um, I really like both these models, and again, I think that the best way to sum it up is if you're looking at the Asus line of netbooks, you just need to pick one based on whether you want portability or battery life. Um, I mean, again, this one's a little bit more expensive, but uh, that's really the, the main uh, differences between the two. I mean, there's also, I guess, on the 1008, they hide the ports with little flaps to make it nice and sleek and, to, and kind of encapsulate the whole design. Whereas on the 1005, you can see that the ports are all kind of open and bare. But uh, anyways, these are both great netbooks. I highly suggest either one of them. Be sure to check out Netbook Reviews for more news, video comparisons, articles on upcoming netbooks, reviews, for uh, a user forum that's just recently started and it's already pretty active uh, and pretty much anything else you can think of that's netbook related.